Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Anastasio, Springs Team Lead for the Southwest Florida Water Management District. We're out here in the field today at the Three Sisters Springs Treatment Wetland Project in Crystal River with Danielle Rogers. She's an Environmental Science Project Lead and a member of the Springs Team. Now the Three Sisters Springs property is co-owned by the district and the city of Crystal River and it's managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So Danielle, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Well, Chris, we're creating a six acre treatment wetland out here and restoring a one acre hydrochemic area. The purpose of this is to treat stormwater runoff before it discharges into Kings Bay. So how does that work? How does it do that? Well, wetlands are known as nature's kidneys. They filter pollutants out of the water as it moves through the wetland. Back in the 1970s, this area used to be a pristine wetland. Developers came in and created the burrow pit that's now known as Lake Linda. They placed the material that they excavated from the burrow pit and placed it on top of the wetlands. So now this project is going to take that fill material and put it back in Lake Linda. And tell us a little bit about why that's important for the bay. Well, when it rains, this area collects stormwater from a 100 acre basin surrounding this site. Currently, that stormwater discharges directly into Kings Bay without any treatment. After this project is completed, the stormwater is going to be diverted to sit in the treatment wetland first to remove some of the pollutants and then discharge into Kings Bay. Now, the Three Sisters Springs property is, is a pretty well-known place for manatee viewing and, and other recreational opportunities. Is this project going to affect public access in any way? No, public access hasn't been impacted at all due to the construction project. Actually, the treatment wetland is going to become part of the viewing area for the public to access and enjoy once it's completed. We expect the project to be finished this fall. Very cool. I look forward to uh, seeing the project completed. Oops. If you would like more information about this project or any other project that the Springs team is involved in, visit watermatters.org slash springs.